Kai, back again, mate. All right, so we're going to look at the structure now, and we're going to talk about solely the piers for this project. Okay. Can you give us some detail? Yeah, sure. So with the peering, um, you know, any engineer is just looking for the same material, so a consistent material on the bottom of the pier. Uh, in this particular job on the high side, if you can see in the video now, yep. the piers are only about half a metre deep. Yep. Uh, but unfortunately, on the under, you know, below the ground on this block, the rock that we're chasing and that we have hit up there is four metres deep down this end. And so the piers are four metres deep on the low end of the site. Yep. Uh, it's just critical to hit the same material everywhere. Um, if, it, you know, if the same material is clay, then the whole thing swells uh, and contracts together, so it's uniform. Yep. And if it's sand underneath, it just sits flat. But if you're hitting something different from one side of the site to the other, you can get uh, cracking, uh, movement, and it, it can be disastrous. What size diameter piers have you got, and what size steel are you using? Uh, these piers here are 600 mil diameter. Um, they have six N20s in each pier hole. That is, uh, it's fairly uh, heavy for a standard house, but this uh, site is classed uh, H1, which is highly reactive. Yeah. Um, so yeah, the Geotech makes the call to class the site and then the engineer, based on that site classification, uh, designs the footings in accordance with that, that classification. Mate, legend. Thanks, Guy. Righto, Dean and Dylan, ex-students working with Saltbox, they're going to have a bit of a chat about working and completing the piers to get ready for pour, which is going to happen today, boys. So he's want to explain what you did and how you got to engineer approval. Alright, so we've actually just worked on these um, 600 mil piers. Yeah. And we're spaced these out at 300. Yeah. As you can see, we've had to um, tie these chairs on the side of it. Yes. So when it goes down, they don't fall off. And the engineer said, K's can't be touching, it has to be 100 mil off. 100 mil off at the bottom, 50 mil cover right around. So those spinner chairs just allow you, when you're manhandling it down, it can't drift off course when you got a nice 600 hole. Yeah. So yeah, that gives you a minimum 50 cover. And then obviously tying on all your cogs, which are obviously fine in your engineer specifications. So can you tell, okay, can you tell what the cogs are for? So the cog is for when the, the steel fixes come through, that's what they later tie their sheet mesh onto. Um, when we put all our trench mesh through, all our cages get tied into the cogs. So that's that's how you can get away with pouring your piers and then doing your slab another day. That's what sort of connects it all together. How many you got to do, guys, before the pour? I think there's, I think we've got probably 30 done. We've got another 12 to go. Yeah. And that'll all get done today. Yeah. Perfect. Good luck. Right. Thanks, boys.